All right, so welcome to uh, uh, the next uh, video series in talking about uh, training a player using margins. And this one's going to include targets. Uh, we have with us again, by the way, I'm Sterling Strother with USA Tennis Coach Coaching Development. This is our vi video series. And I have with me again today, Allison. Up. So I have Allison on the other side. What Allison going to do is I have the orange uh, gate that separates the middle third of the cone because I want to keep that visual for Allison there. I've also set up a couple of targets on the forehand or the deuce side of the court. Um, yellow cones and those are set more into that zone of truth, okay? The zone of truth area is you know, about a couple of feet off the, the uh, singles line and uh, about halfway between the baseline and the service line. So it's basically this little rectangle box right in here. Zone of truth is very interesting because when a player hits that particular spot of the court, it can really swing their opponent off the court and open up uh, the rest of the court for you to pull off uh, an open space shot to get them on the run again. So the yellow cones are in the zone of truth. The green cones are, are deep into the forehand, or her forehand corner. She's a right-handed player, so the deuce side. And then I have the red cones set up in the add part of the court. And uh, you notice how these cones are still within mar good margins. Um, I've placed the yellow cones closer, and they're tighter, closer to the singles line. Allison is a more advanced player. If I was uh, doing this drill with a maybe an intermediate player or a younger player, I would move these cones a little bit further in and basically expand the zone of truth. Okay. So when I'm gonna I'm gonna place these back closer to that. Okay. Oh yeah, let's make her work a little bit on that shot. So Allison, what we're gonna do is I'm going to feed you into the forehand side. You're going to work a ball. Okay, let's work these four balls into the green cones first. So deep into the do side. Ready? Here we go. So watch your reset position. Maintain a good reset. Pass that ball through the orange gate. Okay, come on, work that angle. You got targets now. Take them out. There you go. So, really the purpose, and if you notice, I've actually placed the, the, the cart behind me uh, because I just don't want to have the cart as a visual for the player. I want to kind of open up. So let's go a little bit, a little bit deeper into that, to that section of the court with the green. Now take those cones out because they make a great sound if you hit them. Are you ready? Here we go. Good. Reset. Good. Extend for depth. There you go. Good. Reset. Extend. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right, Miss Allison. Let's get. Let's. To create an angle, okay, notice where I put those balls. I didn't really run you. I didn't really take those balls close to this, the singles line, right? I didn't take you wide. I took them more middle third, right over top of what's, what's to you, do center, okay? So that is a great ball to take back deep, right? Now, I'm going to push you a little bit more angle. I want you to, what do you need, what do you think you need to do to hit the yellow cones of the zone of truth? What about speed? Maybe take speed off a little bit, okay? What about spin? Maybe create a little bit more spin. So try to get on the outside of the ball and create some, some spin, okay? More of a hooking motion. And let's draw it into that yellow cone. Ready? Here we go. Good. There you go. Reset. There we go. Reese, oh, you about got him that time. All right, maybe a little bit, but Allison, did you did you feel like you were a little bit not as well? Let's say it this way. You feel like you were aggressive on the last ball? 
He looked like you kind of rolled that one in. Let's get a little, let's be a little bit more aggressive. Let's activate your personality and your playing style. All right. It's okay if you miss, okay? But when you miss, do you want to miss down the middle third or you want to miss wide? Really? What do you, what's your goal here? What's your goal? That's right. Your goal is to take out those cones, okay? So hitting down the middle third is not going to help you get close to those cones. All right, here we go. Ready? Go wide. Good. Watch your, there you go. Watch your spacing. Woo, there you go. Come on. That's the way. Come on, girl. That's, that's okay, though. Like, that's much more aggressive. I like that. Okay? Now, talk about... Let's talk about um, the kind of ball, kinds of ball. Okay, you can be really aggressive with a ball. Okay, let's call that the color black. Okay, let's say a, a ball that you're kind of passive on, that, that's the color of white. Okay, let's, let's hit a ball that's the color um, gray, like dark gray. Okay, and, a, and we're going to call that ball that you hit that's a dark gray, we're gonna, let's call it a neutral ball. <laughs> a neutral ball doesn't sound like it has aggression on it, but we're going to define it as a ball. A neutral ball will define it as a ball that has a little bit of edge on it. You know what I mean when I say a little bit of edge, be a little bit edgy on it. It's not overly aggressive and it's definitely not passive. So let's four, four balls to the zone of truth, to the yellow cones, and, and let's have them the neutral ball be edgy. A little bit of edge, but not overly aggressive. Here we go. A little bit more spin. Come on. Come on. Be edgy about it. Come on. Okay. What kind of adjustment do you need to make there? What did those balls, most of those balls lack? They lacked, oh, I don't know, they had angle on them. What did they lack? They lacked spin. Okay, let's create some spin. Here we go. Crossover on that. Crossover. Crossover and run back. You're a little slow on that shuffling. Crossover. You're still shuffling. Crossover. Crossover. So you notice, what I'm noticing now, okay, in this drill, that Allison is resetting and she's shuffling back. That's pretty slow, Al. Like, if you shuffle like that, you're going to be pretty slow, okay? Let's, these are wide balls. Let's cross over, sort of run, and then shuffle back in position, okay? All right, here we go. Let's go. Go for the yellow. Here we go. There we go. Oh, that's much faster. Go. There we go. Come on, make that crossover. First step, cross. There you go. Good. What did you notice though? Your feet were a little bit more active. Were you going, were you hitting your, your target better? Okay, all right. Now we're going to get into developing a pattern, a tactical pattern. Okay, Miss Allison? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a four ball drill. And this is based on a tactical pattern, how you would set up a player, okay? First ball, you're going to take to the green targets, okay? First ball, because I'm going to feed it more like middle third. So first ball is deep, cross. Second ball is going to be a little bit, more, uh, a little bit wider, so you're going to take that ball, zone of truth, okay? Now, the third ball, you're going to take red. Okay, all right, forehand or backhand, whatever you feel comfortable. And then the last ball is going to be, because once, once you go here, where do you reset? Yes, then this last ball is a running forehand back cross, deep, okay, or it could be angle, either one. So the colors, green, yellow, red, green, all right. This is why it's really cool, coaches out there, if you have cones that are different colors. Because you can go green, yellow, red, green. So it's almost like a triangle back here. You ready? All right, here we go. So green, 
Excellent. Yellow. Good. Red. Good. Green. Bam! There she is. That was pretty loud though. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, turn your volume down on that. That was pretty loud. I was loud. The cone was pretty cool. All right. Okay, Allison, you see that pattern? Let's do it again. I got four balls. Here we go. Ready? Excellent. Hook it. There you go. Come on. And running forehand. Right. There you go. And that running forehand, you're either going to want to... Allison, let me ask you this. Where did you... When you hit the third ball, you go red, right? As a player, we're about to put this into live ball. As a player, if I'm going here and I take it there, where's the hole you're hitting to? Well, you've hit it to the red cones, right? And I send it down the line. Yes, there it is again. So this is a realistic pattern, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so now we're going to take the feed out and we're going to go live ball, Allison. You ready? So I'm actually going to I'm going to actually try to play these. I'm going to play these shots back, okay, dear. If I don't get to a ball, I'm reloaded. I've got extra balls right here in my hand. So I'm going to feed I'll quick feed it. Okay? Shotgun. All right, you ready? All right, you know the pattern. Here we go. Ah! How did you feel about running me that point? <laughs> that worked like clockwork, right? I mean, yeah. When you have advanced players or players that are at this level, you, you know, first of all, coaches, you've got to create, and I have said this so much, but it's so important to repeat. You have to create an intelligent environment that is creative okay that keeps this kind of player interested in what she's trying to accomplish right that was that was pretty easy like you could see how your pattern was working me okay who was dictating that point absolutely you were dictating the point okay so let's do it again